I'm going to show you how to use travel anchors in Ender.io. So this is the travel anchor here. And what I can do is, you know, place it down here if I like. And then when I actually stand on top of the travel anchor, what you can see here is that there's these other travel anchors. If I stand off it, they just look normal. If I stand on one, you can see they're kind of like enlarged. And if I right click or no, if I just press W to go forward, sorry, I don't even need to click. No, is it W? Jump, sorry. If I press jump, oh my goodness. <laughs> Meant to be a tutorial here. Uh, if you press jump while looking at one, you can basically um, teleport to each one. So I can look at that one, press jump, and now I am at it. If I right click on the travel anchor, I can say it is protected, it's public, or it's private. And I can also use this here, visibility. When on, this block can be seen when holding a staff of traveling or standing on a travel anchor. So when I actually um, turn it off, basically you see these ones are lit up. That one, however, is not. So I can go on here and turn that back on to make sure it is visible. And I can also name it as well. So I can call this one maybe home. Maybe if you've got a basement, etc., you could do that. It can go up, down, left, right, you know, all different directions. So I'm going to jump to there. And then when I look, you can see that one is called home. So I can jump and I know exactly which one I am jumping to. And that really is all there is to it, to using travel anchors in Ender.io. Now, should you be looking for other Ender.io tutorials, I have done all these different machine tutorials in the playlist you now see on screen. Do check out my channel for other Minecraft playlists as my goal here on this channel is to cover 100% of every single mod in Minecraft for you guys. You can also join my Discord or my Patreon to get extra help should you need any help at all on any of the mods that I do cover.